Hey guys, Riley Chase here with Hostify, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Google Maps API key on your Unify controller so that you can have the Maps view like this one. So switching screens now to settings, controller, and um, you'll find the settings here for the Google Maps API key. I've gone ahead and removed the API key, and now if I go back to uh, Maps, switch from topology to floor plan, and switch the floor plan type to Google Maps, you can see um, it says Google Maps are not available. This is what you're gonna see in your controller when you don't have the API key enabled. There's a guide here on how to uh, create the API key. And so we're gonna follow that guide and walk you through step-by-step. Step. Here's what the guide looks like. To create the API key, we're gonna um, first create a Google account, then go to API services credentials page. And on the credential page, we're gonna create the API key um, but there's actually a few other steps and um, like enabling which APIs we need access to. Uh, we're going to need to restrict the API key to only allow requests from our server and only allow the APIs that we allow it to, to use, like the Maps API. And um, since 2018, you're required to uh, add your billing information to your Google account for the API and um, there is a really large free plan tier, so it's not likely that you have to pay for this, but you have to have billing information. Otherwise, um, it's gonna show like development um, stuff in your dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Google account or create one. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one just as a throwaway for this example. Okay, cool, so now I have a Google account created. I'm gonna go back to the instructions and open up the credentials page. Agree to the terms of service. And before we can create the credential, we need to create a project. So the project's just gonna be called Hostify. You can name it whatever you want. Now we're in the Hostify project and um, we're still not ready to create credentials yet because we first need to enable certain API libraries and so we're gonna go over here and search for the JavaScript Maps API library. Enable this. Then we're gonna to go to the navigation, go back to API and services dashboard, go to library, and we're gonna search for geocoding. That's another one we need. There's four total that we're gonna need. So we're gonna enable the geocoding API and that's been enabled. Now we're gonna go back to API and services dashboard again, go to library. And we're also gonna need to enable the maps elevation API. Okay, cool, that's enabled. Go back to navigation, API services library and enable one more. We just need the places API. All right, cool, we have everything enabled. So the next step is we need to add billing information. If we skip this step and don't add our credit card to this account, then um, it's gonna display some warnings in the console. So we need to go to our account here and connect uh, payment information. Add a payment method. Now, obviously I skipped a part where I typed in my credit card number, but I'll go ahead and do that. And let's uh, switch back over to the API credentials page and we're gonna create that API key. Go into the Hostify project, create credentials, API key. Copy that. Now we're gonna click the button to restrict the key. And we're gonna restrict the key to a specific HTTP refer, unify.rchase.com. This would be your Unify controller address. And if you have multiple addresses, you'd wanna put them in here. Now keep in mind, you can only restrict via the HTTP, HTTP refer. You can't restrict via the IP address, Android, iOS app. Um, this is the only way that you can restrict the key for the way that Ubiquity's implemented it. Um, we're also gonna add API restrictions. So going back to those APIs that we enabled earlier, we're going to check the Maps API for uh, Maps Elevation API, the Maps JavaScript API, the Places API, 
and also geocoding. Also change the name of the key to something descriptive and go ahead and save. All right, now that API key is created, go ahead and copy the key, go back over to the controller, go to settings controller and under Google Maps API key, paste that in, click apply changes. And now to test it, you're gonna go to map, switch from topology to floor plan, switch the floor plan to Google Maps. So in order to fix this problem where it says for development purpose only, we need to enable billing on our Google Maps project. And the reason is in 2018, they um, made it where it, it was, uh, you have to have a credit card attached to your account and um, you should um, not have to pay anything because the pricing, if you look at the pricing details, um, you're allowed to make tons of requests. Um, and so it's very unlikely that you'll need to pay anything, but um, you do have to connect your credit card to the account. So if we go to console.cloud.google.com, select our project here, and then we go to billing. This is where we can connect our payment information. So as you can see, it says this project has no billing account. So we're gonna link a billing account create a billing account. All right, now that we've linked our billing account, let's go back over to the Unify controller and refresh the maps page. And now you can see it is working. There are no more error messages. You can search for addresses and um, that will come up. So. Everything's good. So thanks for watching. And um, if you need any help setting this up, feel free to reach out to our support team at hostify.net. You can live chat us on our website or email us support at hostify.net. And we'll be happy to help with uh, any questions you have. Thanks.